Well, hi everyone, and a warm welcome back. Now, I do get a lot of comments from people actually complimenting me on how clean and shiny I keep the car and the caravan. But today, I want to share with you a brilliant new way I found of keeping the caravan and the car clean while we're away. And it's all down to this fabulous product from Silky, and it's called Dry and Shine. So come and take a look at how I've got from this to this in less than 15 minutes. So I just want to stress, I don't do many product reviews and I will only ever do a product review on something that I really believe in myself or I think uh, you may be interested in. So the big frustration is that when you've spent the day before your journey getting your caravan looking clean and bright and shiny all over only to arrive on site to find that it's covered in road dirt. This time of year when it's much drier it tends to be more dusty. Uh, occasionally a bit of bird muck and stuff like that gets there. Uh, and as you can see on the front of the caravan, that's exactly what's happened. Now the big challenge is, when you get to most of these sites, particularly the club sites, you're not allowed to wash your caravan on site. Can you imagine if there was 200 caravans on a site and everyone wanted to wash it, the whole ground would be waterlogged in no time. So there's an added complication if you want your caravan to look good. And of course, when you've got your name on the back of the caravan, we often get a lot of subscribers coming up to say hello. And having watched all the videos about how well I keep it clean, it can be a bit embarrassing. Let me show you why, and let me show you how we use it, because it is so quick and easy. So what I'll do, just spray across the bottom here for now, because this is a bit that's probably the dirtiest. Leave that for a second. Get my cloth ready, are you ready? Watch the difference. Well, I mean, if you just wipe a cloth over a dirty surface that's brand new, you're going to get dirt on it. But what you won't get is the added shine. So I just want to reassure you folks, no jiggery pokery going on, no editing, uh, special effects on cameras or anything like that. That's all just being done with one product, that one down there, uh, and a microfiber cloth. There's no, no other gear knocking about. I've not got any hose pipes knocking about on the drive. No jet washing going on. Uh, currently, I've just cleaned the back of the van in less than five minutes using one product. I've tried doing this before with just a wet cloth, you know, and then a chamois, and uh, it, it'll clean, but it won't give you the shine. Look at that. I'm absolutely delighted with it. I've had to get on a step ladder to show you this, but look, it's pretty manky down here. Don't quite know what's caused that. It looks like watermarks, you know, where the, perhaps the caravan's been wet with the early morning dew and it's just ran down, collected the dust on the way left this horrible mark, which, you know, on site does not look good. So I'm balanced on top of a uh, step ladder here. I need a stunt man to make these videos, I tell you. So I'm just gonna spray a bit on this top bit. That's enough. The same microfiber cloth. Crikey. If I just try and catch down here, look at all the pollen, dust and dirt. If you can pick it up. Get it there, can't you? Look at that. I'm just curious to see uh, how it works on the Perspex window, so let's give it a go. Remember, these are covered in a lot of pollen from the fields that we were pitched in. We were, we were at Clubfest recently, and a big field of buttercups, and it was very windy. And there's like a yellow film on the windows here. But just to get the dirt off, just thought I'd give this a try. Might just dry that off with a, a dry fibre in a second. Otherwise I'm going to have a lot of smears on here. <clears throat> Certainly lifting the dirt off, that's great. It's called dry and shine. Because normally by now, if I was to wash the caravan on the drive, um, the water would be running down the road <laughs> and the drive would be saturated. There's no water on the drive whatsoever. Right, just get a dry microfiber cloth. Oh yeah, straight away. That's drying that off lovely. Oh yeah, this came out really well actually. Didn't expect this. Hopefully, the camera's picking that shine up. There's a real shine on there. 
nothing but silky dry and shine used to clean the front of the caravan. So really folks, really pleased with the finish. Dry and shine's done the job perfect. So three good reasons to use dry and shine that I can think of. One is, as I've just described, if you're on a site, you want to get that road muck off really quickly and leave your caravan with a shine, just as you left the driveway, works perfectly. Also really good for detailing. When you've sort of washed and waxed your caravan in the normal way, and you want to go around just do a bit of detail, this is a great example of that. I'll just bring you in close. So sometimes when I'm washing the caravan, I don't always open the locker. And you see when you do, this is where the detailing comes in. Let's just give that a bit of a whirl as well. So a quick spray. That's all it needs, folks. <clears throat> Just lifting the dirt straight off, really pleased. See in here. And then the added bonus really is things like these rubber seals, which get really black and dirty and often get overlooked as well. But I found that by using a bit of dry and shine on these seals, that they, they come up really well. And let's look at that. Pretty good, isn't it? Silky Leisure Dry and Shine. It'll give it a go, guys and girls. There'll be some links in the description below where you can pick up the product. Give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I certainly am not. If you have been, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, now's your chance. Hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, and then you'll see all of our videos just as they're released. But for now, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.